What's up you guys, Scott here from Scott Help here with another very simple tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a Superman landing scene in the video Snapback Wars. You can check the full video by clicking the link right here or clicking the link in the description. But for now, let's jump right into Adobe After Effects. Here's basically how it goes. The part where your actor jumps will be masked out and a blank shot will be placed underneath it, while the part where your actor lands will be left alone. So let's begin. Drag your video into the new composition icon. Go to the point where your actor has both feet off the ground and press B to trim the video to that point. Now go to the point where your actor is about to land. Press Ctrl Shift D to split the clip in two. Make sure to have a blank shot and drag it underneath both layers. Go to the beginning of the clip, zoom in and grab the pin tool to mask out your first frame of your actor. This process will take a while, but make sure to be precise and take your time the end result will be worth it. I am now adjusting the blank shot so that the picture looks like the video. This step can be overlooked. Before you mask out any other frames, go to the first frame of your video and open up your mask properties. Now keyframe your mask path. Go to your next frame and reanimate the shape of your actor. Continue to do this process until the point where your video splits in two. Like I mentioned, this will take some time, so make sure that you are fully ready to do this and take some breaks in between. When you are finally finished, go to the last frame that was masked out. Press P to enable position and keyframe it. And then press S to enable scale and keyframe that as well. Go to the beginning of the video and zoom out. At this point, diagonally place your actor out of frame in the corner of the screen and scale them down to 54%. Playing the clip, it should look as if the subject is flying down and getting bigger as if it would look in real life. To make the video even more realistic, motion blur the layer and enable motion blur in the composition. Although this is a great improvement, the video is still not complete. Press Ctrl A to select all the layers and right click to pre-compose them. At this point, we will zoom in the footage right at the moment of the impact to make the cut less noticeable. Play the clip and go two frames right after the cut happens, then press S and keyframe the scale. Now press P and keyframe the position as well. Go two frames before the last frame of your mask layer. Keyframe the position and scale. Now go back to your first keyframe and scale up the footage to around 290% and position the video so that your actor is in the center. Then enable motion blur to your layer. Play the clip and stop right before your actor is about to get up. Now keyframe the scale and position. Continue playing the clip and by the time your actor stands up fully, scale out to around 200%. Keep in mind, your video may not be as much of a wide shot as mine. These numbers do not have to be exact. Use my tutorial only as a base. For the final part of this video, we'll add a camera shape to give the clip a more realistic feel. Go to the effects and presets and type slider control and drag the effect onto the composition. Click on the composition and press P and all click on the stopwatch. Type wiggle open bracket 8 comma then drag the pick whip icon to the slider control. Then type close bracket semicolon. Now go to the second keyframe and go to the slider control and keyframe it. Move one frame forward and keyframe it to 44. Move about 30 frames and keyframe the slider again. Move three frames forward and scale it back down to zero. Playing the clip, the cut is now overshadowed from the awesome landing effect that you just learned. Any other axis can be cut out by going to that point, pressing N, and right clicking the option trim comp. Congratulations, you have now mastered the technique of flying down like Superman. Leave any questions in the comment section below, and if this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.